What can you say about Jackie Chan? He's made a ton of movies, both funny and serious, and with a plethora of awesome stunts and fight scenes. He's also had some games to his name, such as Jackie Chan Stuntmaster on the PlayStation, Jackie Chan Adventures on PS2 and GBA, and Jackie Chan in Fists of Fury in the arcade, which actually featured real clips of Jackie himself. But of course, I'm here to talk about his Famicom and NES game, Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu, although on Famicom it's simply Jackie Chan. As the game opens, we see Jackie out walking with a woman, his twin sister that I didn't know he had, when a sorcerer paralyzes him and kidnaps his sister. And off Jackie goes on an excursion through China, kicking ruffians and punching frogs for life-replenishing noodles. Lots of positive things to say about this game. The graphics are quite nice with big sprites and lots of color. Jackie is smiling when standing still, but as soon as he moves it's all business, and his decisive walk is somehow very cute. I would say that the best thing about this game is the music. Not just the great melodies, but it has a certain richness to it that you don't hear from many NES or Famicom games. Your standard attacks are punch, crouching kick and jumping kick. But you can also pick up power-ups that enable a few uses of a special attack. This kills enemies in one hit, but honestly they're not super useful. Although it's still nice to have some variety. You can also charge Chi by holding B, and release it for a shot similar to a Hadouken or Mega Man's Mega Buster. This consumes red balls in the right hand corner. You can also collect red balls, but I don't know what they do. There's also a bonus game you can play if you jump into the bell that sometimes appears. This makes you take a ride on a cloud with an old man up to the heavens where you either see how many times you can continuously jump on clouds, or punch fish. If you see my Yakuza game reviews, you know I make a big deal of the main character Kiryu fighting tigers. Well, for Kiryu that was a boss fight of some importance, but for Jackie Chan, they're just a minor inconvenience. On the other hand, Jackie can get killed by mice. I also have to give extra points for having lava that doesn't kill you in one hit, and this stage where you keep jumping upward, but if you fall down you don't die, you just get sent down a level. Also Gamma. This is not an easy game, with some precision jumping, auto-scrolling stages, sketchy hit detection in some places, and a few annoying enemies. So get ready to do some memorization if you want to get far on the five continues that the game doles out. But to me this is one of those games where the music and the overall atmosphere makes me want to keep going, even when I get frustrated. But should I or you get too upset, there do exist a sheet code for 99 continues, and here it is. This game gets a recommendation from me. It looks nice, sounds good, plays well, and is challenging. It's fun. And in the end, isn't that the whole point of video games? 